Welcome back to this video and in this video we will discuss about a special uh, standard IO interface that is the universal serial bus interface. We have already discussed about the PCI interface that is the peripheral component interconnect unit. They are appeared as a part of the motherboard just like a series. We can connect various numbers of IO devices using the load present in the motherboard. Here it is the USB cable and port. We are all familiar with this unit. This uh, port, USB port is associated with the system and using this cable we can interconnect various IO devices uh, with the system using the USB port. Right? What are the features of this USB interface? A modern computer system is likely to involve a wide variety of devices such as keyboards, microphones, cameras, speakers and display devices. Most computers also have a wide wired or wireless connection to the internet. A key requirement of such an environment is the availability of simple low cost mechanism to connect these IO devices to the computer. So we need to connect various IO devices with the system as well as with the internet. For such applications we require a separate mechanism okay, in order to connect IO devices and machines systems with the internet as well as IO devices with the computer system. An important recent development in this regard is the USB interface, Universal Serial Bus Interface. What are the key objective of this USB interface? It provides simple, low cost and easy to use interconnection system that overcomes the difficulties due to limited number of IO ports available on a computer. Usually a computer system is associated with two or three such ports for interconnecting IO devices. So this USB support it provides low cost and easy method for connecting different number of IO devices with the computer system. One, this is one of the important advantage or feature of this USB interface. And it accommodates wide range of data transfer characteristics for IO devices like variation in speed, volume and timing constraints associated with the data transfer. This USB interface support wide range of data transfer characteristics like variation, various speed. It support various speed in data transfer volume. About it support uh, transferring different volume of data and also support timing constraints associated with different data transfer between different I/O devices. And it enhances user convenience through a plug and play mode of operation. That is, this USB interface always support plug and play mode of operation. That means we can plug an external IO device whenever we want to connect with the system without uh, shutting down the currently operating system. It automatically identifies the ex uh, inserted device without shutting down during insertion. Okay, so plug and play mode of operation is an important advantage of this USB interface. So in order to understand in, uh, understand in detail about the plug and, play, uh, plug and play mode of operation, consider an example. An additional speaker can be connected at any time while system is operating. An additional speaker can be connected with an operating system at any time. The system should detect the existence of this new device automatically. It identifies the device driver, software and any other facilities needed to service the device and establish the appropriate address and logical connection to enable them to communicate without a need of shutting down first. Okay, so the situation is the system is currently working. Okay, it uh, performs some other activities. So at that time we can connect an uh, external devices using this USB port and USB cable. 
so the device or the processor automatically identifies whatever it need for supporting or whatever it needs for providing service to the external device without altering or without suspending any of the current activities this is an advantage of this usb interface hence usb make it possible to connect many devices to a computer system at any time we can connect any uh, io devices or external devices with the currently working computer system without make any problem which is uh, without making any problem to the currently executing activities so usb is an uh, important interface standard which is commonly using now in order to support our io interface io data transfer okay next is about the architecture of usb it always prefer a serial transmission format USB supports serial transmission uh, transmission format and is chosen for USB a uh, serial transmission format is chosen for the USB and because it provide low cost and flexible requirement serial transmission is adapted in order to follow or support low cost and flexibility requirement clock and data information are coded together and transmitted as a single unit this is another important feature of the usb standard clock information and data information are coded together and transmitted as a single signal hence there are no limitation on the clock frequency or skew problem and provide high data transfer bandwidth by using high clock frequency that is in this the transmission is in a serial transmission format and in each serial transmission the clock information and data informations are coded together and considered as a single unit and transmitted as a single signal here that's why it prevent the skew problem what's the skew problem that means a data two different data sent through two different channel at the same source at the same time but it takes different time for reaching to a single destination because of the delay associated with the transmission medium so here all the data and clock informations are coded together and transmitted to a single channel at the same time uh, so that it prevent the skew problem here okay This is the architecture of Universal Serial Bus, uh, bus uh, Universal Serial Bus, and is appeared as a tree structure. It follows a tree structure here. This is the host computer. The USB is associated with a root hub, which is used for interconnecting this is uh, IO devices with the host computer. To accommodate a large number of devices that can be added or removed at any time, the USB has the tree structure. The tree structure of this USB standard support for accommodating or attaching any number of I/O devices where, uh, wherever, whenever we want to the system. So this tree structure is very important, which support for connecting many number of I/O devices with the currently existing system using um, limited number of uh, USB ports. Each node of the tree has a device called a hub. The node of this tree is known as hub, which acts as an intermediate control point between the host and the I/O devices. I/O devices are appeared as the leaf of this tree. In between, the nodes are known as the hub. This hub unit is actually the control point between the root hub as well as the I/O and I/O devices. Okay, the leaves of this tree are I/O devices and is being served. For example, all these I/O devices like keyboard, internet connection, speaker, or digital TV, all these I/O devices are comes as the leaf of various hub. Okay, and this hub are uh, present as the intermediate node of this tree. root hub is uh, the root of this tree which act as an interconnecting point of this usb cable or usb interface with the host computer 
and this hub intermediate node called as the hub unit act as the control point which control the activities of data or data, data transfer between this rule hub as well as with the io devices which are present as the leaf of the tree in normal operation the hub copies a message that it received from its upstream connection to all its downstream part as a result a message sent by the host computer is broadcast uh, broadcast to all io devices but only the address device will respond to that message is it clear that means during a data transfer from a root hub to a io device root hub transfer this message to all its associated hub that means this root hub transfer a data to this hub as well as to this hub similarly this hub transfer the receive data to all its associated child that means transfer data to this one this one this one here this data here uh, this the received data is transferred to this hub as well as to this io device but the data is transferred to all the devices but only one device which is addressed by the received data is already or is uh, ready to respond to that received message all other io devices and hub unit just receive the data and just discard that data because the data is not uh, respond, representing that particular unit only the one io device or a one hub unit which respond to the uh, received data is the one that is addressed by the received data or received message okay however a message from an io device is sent only up up trim towards the root of the tree and is not seen by the other devices here in from top to bottom data transfer it is broadcasting it is a it follows a broadcasting manner but in the reverse data transfer order that means from a particular io device to the host computer the data transfer follow a single path path that means the data is transferred from this particular io device to the host computer system just follow this particular path this path to this hub first then this hub receive the data and forward to the hub root from this hub root to the host computer that means no two devices present in this not two io devices associated with the host computer can't communicate using this universal bus serial bus interface only the device connected with io device connected with this uh, standard can communicate with the host computer okay so just remember this point no two devices external devices connected to the uh, usb standard at the same time can't communicate each other only a device external device can communicate with the host computer using this universal serial bus standard okay next is an important activity associated with this usb standard that is the split bus operation this is necessitated by the introduction of high speed operation in usb 2 okay so this is an important operation or activity associated with the latest version of usb standard that is uh, present in usb version 2 in figure you in this figure consider this particular intermediate node hub a and is connected to the root hub by a high speed link this link indicates a high speed data transfer link here also this link indicate a high speed data transfer link between hub a to an external device c but here here it is a low speed data transfer link associated with hub a to device d okay normally a message to device d would be sent at low speed from the root hub itself so a short message takes several tens of millisecond in order to complete its data transfer operation for the duration of this message no other data transfer can takes place 
thus reducing the efficiency of high speed links and introducing an acceptable delay for high speed devices that's it what it means it means here it is a uh, low speed link it is used for connecting this device d with hub a suppose our host computer want to transfer a data to this device d which path it prefers for transferring that uh, data transfer here we have only one single path that is using this high speed link then use a low speed uh, link for completing the data transfer usual case in order to transfer a data to a low speed device here here like this device d the root hub itself transfer in a low speed here it is actually a high speed link but the root uh, the host computer want to transfer data to a low speed device device d so that it initially start the data transmission in a low speed that means it not effectively utilize this efficiency or effectively not used uh, utilize the capacity of this high speed link and also it takes some more time to complete the data transfer from this root hub through this hub a to device d okay this is the problem associated with such situation that means certain devices are low speed devices to mitigate this problem to avoid this problem the usb protocol requests that the message transmitted on the high speed link is always transmitted at high speed even when the ultimate receiver is a low low speed device okay that means here actually uh, the root hub want to transmit a data to device d and device d is set low speed device okay but here it is a high speed link and here it is a low uh, low speed link so the ultimate destination is here it is a low speed link so the root hub want to transfer in normal case the root hub start the transmission the loss in low speed itself but it cause problem while uh, that means uh, while transferring such data it takes more time to complete the data transfer because the root hub itself start the data transfer in low speed okay that means the other devices which also associated with this path want to wait there in order to transfer a data transfer in order to start another data transfer right so in order to uh, avoid such problem but the remedy here the solution is root uh, root hub want to transfer the data to device d which is a low speed device but root can uh, root hub can start the data transmission in high speed itself because the attached link is high speed link so utilize the maximum ability of this link and now the data received here in the hub a now the hub a can transfer the data to device d in a low speed because the here the associated link is low speed link okay so we can split the speed here here we can follow the high speed transfer here follow the low speed no need to start with the low speed itself we can utilize the maximum ability of this link that means start the transmission in high speed from here itself we can reduce the speed and uh, transfer in low speed okay this is known as the split bus operation in order to utilize the maximum capacity of the available link here okay during this period the bus is split between high speed and low speed traffic okay so the data transmission here completed by following a high speed transfer here then it is split to a low speed transfer no need to tra follow a complete low low speed transmission first follow high speed transmission then follow a low speed transmission okay the message to device d is preceded and followed by a special command to hub a to start and end the split traffic mode of operation respectively if we prefer a split mode of data transfer um, while transferring data from host computer to a particular device the original data transfer 
preceded by a special command in order to indicate that the coming data transfer follow a split bus operation okay so the data transfer is preceded by a special command in order to indicate the intermediate halves that the coming data transfer follows certain split bus operation okay this is an important point or an important activity associated with the usp standard in order to support the maximum utilization of effective utilization of associated links present in the usp interface standard next is about addressing of various attaching devices when a usb is connected to a host computer its root hub is attached to the processor bus where it appears as a single device okay whenever a usb is connected to a host computer its root hub is attached to the processor bus where it appears as a single device the host software communicate with the individual devices attached to the usb by sending packets of information which the root hub forward the appropriate device in a usb tree each device on the usb whether it is a hub or an io device is assigned a 7 bit address this address is local to the usb tree and is not related in any way to the address used on the processor bus so consider this diagram again so whenever we want to connect an io devices with the host computer connect the root hub of this uh, usb standard one side of the usb cable we have the io device and the other other end we have the root hub so connect this root hub to the host computer using the usb port okay so here we have intermediate hub and different io devices so here all the unit present in this uh, a usb standard or a usb unit is assigned a 7 bit unique address value and this address value 7 bit address value is valid only inside this tree structure and is not uh, meaningful outside the usb interface that is it is not used for any purpose in the processor bus that means inside this host computer this uh, special 7 bit address is used inside this tree structure in order to uniquely identify various intermediate node as well as with the io devices these addresses are used for identifying various unit in order to properly identify the various intermediate nodes and the final destination inside this tree structure okay so so here we use a 7 bit address information a hub may have any number of devices or other hubs connected to it and addresses are assigned arbitrarily when a device is first connected to the hub or when it is a uh, powered or it has the address value 0 the hardware of the hub to which this device is connected is capable of detecting that the device has been connected and it records this fast fact as a part of its own status information okay once again consider this whenever a new device connected this with that me uh, before that each hub is associated with any number of slot the slot can be used for connecting various in uh, intermediate hub as well as with io devices so hub is associated with different slot this slot can be used for connecting io devices with the hub as well as uh, with the uh, slot can be used for connecting other hub with it as well as other io devices with this hub whenever a new device is connecting with this hub it directly inform the hub that uh, a new device is connected with this so sir that information is recorded inside the status information of this particular hub whenever a new device is connected to this hub or a new hub is connected to this hub then what do, what happen then the hub change or modify its status information that a new device is connected to it and also assign an initial address value of 0 okay next 
the hardware of the hub to which device is connected is capable of detecting that the device has been connected and it records this fact as a part of its on status information that means whenever a new device connected to the hub the hardware of this device hardware of this hub is responsible or is possible to identify this particular status that is a new device is connected with this so the hub in current status information is updated with uh, the information of the new device also okay similarly whenever an already connected device detached from this hub so the devices hardware devices associated with this hub also recognize that particular event and also changes current status information that a particular device a particular address device is removed from this hub okay so attaching and detaching is uh, recorded to the status information of various hub as and when a new device is connected or uh, when a device is detached from the uh, hub part okay periodically the host pulls each hub to collect status information and learn about new devices that may have been added or disconnected so the host host computer pulls heat hub to collect status information and learn about new devices that may have been added or disconnected so as and when a new devices are connected hub record the uh, new event the information or uh, new uh, information about the new event to the status information of the hub this host computer periodically send polling information in order to get new current status information of various hub associated with this tree structure so so using this polling mechanism the host computer can identify that a new device is connected with a particular hub present in this tree structure so this host computer prefer a periodical polling mechanism in order to identify whenever a new device is connected with this structure usb as an as well as whenever a device which is already connected is detached from this usb interface okay so for that it prefer a periodic polling mechanism when the host is informed that a new device has been connected it uses a sequence of command to send a rest signal on the corresponding hub port read information from the device about its capabilities and send configuration information to the device and assign the device a unique usb address after the polling mechanism the host computer identifies that a new device is connected with a particular intermediate hub node inside the usb interface then at that time or after identifying this information it uses a sequence of command to send a reset signal on the corresponding hub port read information from the device that means read a uh, identify uh, the information about the device which is available from a rom memory associated with the hardware device and also about its capabilities and send configuration information to the device and assign a device a unique usb address that means whenever a new device is connected with connected with one of the hub of this interface this interface uh, hardware devices collect information about the uh, io devices which is newly connected with the, uh, this hub and recorded inside the status information and this host computer periodically performs certain polling mechanism and as and when this host computer identifies that a new device is connected with this particular hub then it sends a sequence of command in order to get information about the newly connected io device so it send a command to read information about the io devices which is uh, available the information or features of that particular io device is so available from the hardware device in which we have a rom memory which store all the information about the particular io device okay and also 
uh, set configuration information in order to uh, make a path for communication the host computer send a set of commands or set of information to configure this IO device with the system and also assign a unique 7 bit address value to the newly, as, uh, newly attached IO device ok Once the sequence is completed, the device begins normal operation and responds only to the new address value. Once all these sequence of commands are completed, the newly attached device is assigned with a new address information. So that so after that, all normal operation use that particular assigned info assigned address information in order to identify the particular IO device. Okay, so this assigned 7 bit address information is valuable only inside the tree structure. It is not useful outside this tree structure, that means not used for transferring data from the processor to the particular IO devices, not used inside the processor bus and is, so, is only valid inside the tree structure. Okay, this is actually the working of this USB interface. Next is about the various USB protocols. All information transferred over the USB is organized in packets, where a packet consists of one or more bytes of information. Here it follows a packet uh, format for transferring data and here we have different types of packets and packets contain more number of bytes of information. The information transferred on the USB can be divided into two broad categories, control and data. That means the USB packets used for transferring control information and some other packets, some other format is used for transferring data information. Okay. Control packets perform such tasks as addressing a device to initiate data transfer, acknowledging that the data have been received correctly or indicating an error. So, control packets are used for controlling the data transfer activities and for addressing a, assigning address to a particular uh, IO device and start the uh, data transfer by sending certain uh, commands. Uh, and some other error checking uh, mechanism and all these informations are attached with the control data packet sorry control packet data packets carry the actual data to be transferred between the device and the host system so here we have here it follows packet data format data uh, packet data formats and packets are of two types control packets and data packets control packet transfer control information for error correction addressing and all and data packets contains the actual information to be transferred between the IO device and the host system ok packet consists of one or more fields containing different kind of information the first field of any packet is called the packet identifier PID which identifies the type of that packet okay they are transmitted twice the first time they are sent with the true values and the second time uh, with each bit complemented okay the PID uh, portion looks like this PID uh, is a, a bit format first four bit is uh, contains the true value and remaining four bit is the complemented value and this complemented value is actually used for identifying some error presented uh, error of course during transmission the four PID bit identify one of the 16 different pack, um, packet types okay here we have four PID values so using this P four unique PID values Sorry, using this 4 bit of PID, we can address 16 different 2 raised to 4, that is 16 different packet format. This complemented 4 bit, this is PID 0, its complemented form is represented here. This complemented form is actually used for identifying some errors occurred during transmission. Some control packets, such as acknowledgement, consists only of the PID byte.
okay here this is the format pid format first four bit using this four bit we can identify 16 different packet formats and uh, eight bit pid field this token packet and data packet token packet is actually the control packet contain 8 bit pid 7 bit address information 4 bit end of point uh, end of end point within a device and 5 bit crc 16 for error checking so i click redundancy checking part is a 5 bit information used here crc bits are calculated based on the content of address and end point field so after receiving a uh, particular control information a uh, crc value is calculated there using this address information and endpoint information and compare the uh, generated crc value with the stored crc value here if there is a difference that indicates the error occurs during transmission okay this is the format of pack data packet which carry input or output data 8 bit field pid field is followed by a 8192 bits of data we can transfer maximum 8192 bits of data using a data packet here next is a 16 bit crc for error checking three different pid patterns are used to identify the data packet so that packet may be number 0 1 or 2 Three different PID patterns are used for identifying data packets. Three different PID patterns. Among the 16 patterns, three different PID patterns are used for identifying the data packets. So, three different packets means data packets can be numbered as 0, 1, 2 in order to identify different types of data packet. Okay. Consider an activity that is an output data transfer in a USB host computer send a token packet of type out to the hub so before transferring uh, starting the data transfer with an uh, output device first host computer send a token packet or a command control packet to control packet of type out to the hub followed by a data packet containing the output data the PID field of the data packet is identifies it as a data packet number 0 okay the hub verifies that the transmission has been error free by checking the error control bit and send an acknowledgement packet back to the host the hub forward the token and data packet downstream all the io devices receive this packet but only the device that recognize its address in the token packet accept the data in the packet that follows at, after verifying that the transmission has been error free, it sent an acknowledgement packet to the hub. Successive data packets carry the numbers 0 and 1 alternatively. If a packet is lost as a result of transmission error, the senders resend the entire sequence by checking that the data packet number in the PID field. Also, the receiver can detect and discard duplicate packets. Okay, all these activities are explained using this diagram. So, the host first, in order to start an output data transfer, host first send a token, then followed by a data packet. Whenever with these two are received in the hub, and the hub check the uh, cyclic redundancy bit information and identifies that no error occurred during data transfer so it send a acknowledgement back to this host as well as this hub forward this token and data information to all its associated io devices but only one io device which is addressed by this particular token receive uh, accept this uh, receive token and data and check for error condition if it is if it identifies that no error occurs then it forward and or send an acknowledgement packet back to the hub all other io devices attached with the hub just receive the token and data information and discard the address token and data because this particular token is not addressed for all these io devices it address only a particular IO device only so 
the particular io device accept this token and data and check the error condition if no error occurs then it send an acknowledgement back to the hub okay and similarly after receiving this acknowledgement from this hub the host sent the next sequence of token and data to the hub again this also uh, meant for the same io device so the first packet is uh, uh, data packet is addressed as zero or this follows the format zero and this is of one okay and this i'll uh, repeat alternatively and the next packet is address using zero and next by one and this sequence number associated with the data packet is used for identifying whether a data packet is missed during data transmission when a particular sequence zero or one is missed in the io device or the n side then it send an uh, then it uh, request for the retransmission then it retransmit the n their sequence zero packet and first packet okay and also using this sequence number the io device at the end side or the destination side this sequence number is used for discarding duplicate packets arriving in the destination side okay whenever an acknowledgement received here the host send the next sequence next packet from the next packet present in the sequence and wait for the acknowledgement Okay, whenever this acknowledgement receives here, it can send the next packet from the sequence. Okay, whenever an acknowledgement from the destination is received in the hub, it can follow the received next packet to the external, sorry, IO, external I.O. device. And in the I.O. device side, it check for error condition. If it is error free, then it send an acknowledgement back to the hub. Okay. this is all about the usb standard and it's working and uh, it's addressing method and about protocol standards okay so steady well thank you